Right. September already, man. Well, this year. This year's mental. Anyway. Unless you've been living under a rock in F1 terms, Williams has finally been sold. The family have been dragged kicking and screaming into it after nearly 40 years. And it's a sad time. It's it's the end of an era, really. Uh, the last family-owned team in the sport, and probably going to be the last one ever. Unless you count Lance Stroll and Daddy Stroll. But, yeah, it's it's the first... The first, definitely not the first. It's it's the last properly family run team and it's it's gone. It's been bought out by a company called Drilton Capital LLC. And today I'm just I've, I'm just having a little look who the hell are Drilton Capital? Because I'd never heard of them and I don't think anyone else has. So according to the website, Drilton Capital are a private investment firm seeking to acquire recapitalize and support the long-term growth of middle market business across a variety of industry sector of industry sectors now if you cut out all the jargon basically Derilton try to take struggling businesses and recover them financially doesn't really offer that much though does it they say we seek we seek control situations and prefer to partner with incumbent management to create value over the long term which again is pretty much business jargon um kind of useless information really they say they partner with companies that are led by strong management teams and have a successful history and culture so i guess williams comes under that i mean do they have a strong management do they even have a management at all now after Claire's stepped down um, and I believe I've seen some from the news today. Pip Middleton and her husband, I think, are getting involved apparently with Williams, which is a bit bizarre. So the royal family get involved in, or kind of royal family, getting involved in Williams potentially. I'm not too sure how uh, true that story is, but I did read it pretty much as soon as you, the first thing you come up on the takeover at the moment that that's what comes up so i've tried to do some digging but it's ha i have struggled finding anything they've uh, got a portfolio derilton of 10 other companies not 10 they've got 10 in total sorry uh of which i've heard of none of their brands got versa integrity group no idea what that is traditions health mei rigging etc stuff like that island abbey foods i think these are all american uh brands an issue is, nobody actually knows who the owner of Derilton Capital is. It's assumed to be a very wealthy individual who has either a personal connection to Williams or Motorsport or Formula 1. Because they're actually doing the research, there's no reason for Derilton to take over Williams or manage Williams, whatever they're actually doing. Because you don't just drop 180 million for no reason so there's obviously something behind it hopefully of a good nature being being a, a Wigan Athletic fan in football at the moment I'm very skeptical of all takeovers after my club's been destroyed by a by um dodgy ownership in literally the matter of three months so hopefully everything goes smoothly with Williams there are rumours going around that Bernie Eccleston is behind this takeover and according to Forbes uh, there's absolutely I'll qu actually I'll quote this according to Forbes there is no existing evidence that can be cited to support this claim of beneficial ownership so it's just likely a story that's been developed by media outlets and there's another story going around that there's an anonymous mysterious that, that's quoting the businessman in Hong Kong which just fills me with no confidence whatsoever He's reportedly been saying uh, he wants to save an F1 team. It's not, there's no specific details on what, but there are quotes going around, and all the articles, according to Forbes, have just been deleted. They go up for like a week and they get deleted, so there's not much information on them. But that's that's pretty much all I could find, and it's a it's a weird situation. To real enough, obviously, they know how to manage companies, which is a good thing, but. 
the fact there's no information on the owner um, means you can never fully trust it, unfortunately. Because without knowing who the owner is, you cannot be 100% certain what the intentions are of this company. And that's... That's not a nice secure feeling for Williams fans, I'd imagine. Uh, I'm sure Frank Williams and Claire have done the research. I don't know what they've used for that research. Apparently not Google. And I'm sure everything's going to work out okay, but... I say I'm sure, I'm not sure. I, I hope everything will work out okay. Because Williams, obviously a big name in Formula 1. Uh, and it'd be nice to see them at least fighting for points again. So that's pretty much everything on Derilton. Derilton Capital LLC. Um, let me know if anyone finds any more information on them. Um, be very intrigued. This is kind of a video to help everyone else out uh, who doesn't know who Derilton are. And it's also helped me out. Because I have no idea who they were. That's all I got. Cheers.